watching slaughterhouse footage is a way of bearing witness, but nothing comes close to being at that truck and looking the animals in the eyes, feeling their energy, saying, I'm sorry, I see you, and we're trying. And welcome, like there's something welcoming about pushing childlike beings into a gas chamber. We're good? Oh, what's your name, bro? Richard. Richard, how long have you been coming here for? Almost a year and a half. A year and a half. And you said you've noticed something with the trend of trucks coming in. What's been happening? There's been less and less over time. We come like every two weeks or so. And yeah. then there used to be sometimes be like 15, 16 trucks and now it averages around sort of eight, nine or 10. Wow. And they're not full to capacity anymore. Wow. And then there's a guy who works here, he's been here for like 18, 19 years. And he said there was a day a few weeks ago where they didn't kill anything. And he said he's never seen that happen. Oh like, my God. The entire time he's worked here. Wow, see in a year and a half, gradually they, cause you'd think if me, yeah, consumption was increasing. These guys would be kicking goals, you wouldn't think they? So. It's going down for um, pigs, sheep, and lamb in this country, but chickens is going up. And they own like spam and tulips, all like luncheon meat, wow. like, meat and stuff. So, so pretty big industry. Yeah, really big company. One of the biggest, one of the bigger companies for like Danish bacon, which is like a big thing in England. Wow. So whoever says the save movement doesn't work, this is evidence that us standing out in the front of these slaughterhouses, bringing images out, bringing videos out of these animals, is working. Okay, because meat consumption is is going down because consumers are getting becoming aware of the horror story that's inside okay so the save movement is working Do you still eat pigs yourself? Sorry? Do you still eat pigs yourself after working here for so long? Very rare. Very rare? I, I, I can have, have sales, they offer me it, but I, I don't even have it anymore. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. What, did this turn you off a little bit? Well, <laughs> it does a bit. Uh, oh, do, you see, do you see the pigs when they come in, like their faces and stuff like that, and hear, hear their screams? And Well, I don't call it a scream, I call it a squeal. A but, squeal. But like dogs squeal I'm, when you kick them and stuff, like that type of squeal. Yell. A yelp. Yeah, dogs yeah, yeah, dogs yeah. yelp when you kick them, so that's, yeah, yeah. that's kind of like their yelp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what more can you say about that? It's just terrified childlike beings being pushed into this dungeon and suffocated with gas. And they're burning from the inside out. People who've been following my channel for a while now know how terrifying and horrific gas chambers actually are. We just stopped a truck out the front and real infant like pigs in there they're really gentle and really young maybe five or six months old and now they've been subjected to this horror inside of here oh, that's interesting that's interesting uh do you say so, I, I don't know I, if i could work here for so long and still think that they're their food actually i just have you seen images from inside that have they showed you footage of inside the gas chambers i've worked here i work every day oh, so every you've day. seen the pigs go down and struggle in the, the cage and yeah. stuff yeah i've been in, in this place oh. i've seen it all yeah I've seen a pig come in in a wagon and go out this side in trays yeah. in a supermarket, yeah. virtually. So. so you've seen them get processed and gutted yeah. and, yeah. yeah. You, you just, do you think you're desensitised to it now? Like, you, you're, you're no, like... No, I don't think... It I doesn't think make you feel the same way as it did when you first seen it? I know it's pretty hard to come to terms with, but... This is the reality of it. This is what they go through. Billions every single week. I think it's, it's, it's important as an activist to come and listen to their screams, to suffer with them, to bear witness to them. One of the most powerful forms of activism I've ever done, for me as an activist, is suffering with animals, so you know why you're fighting. Here they are, the victims of the Holocaust in here. Look at their faces. Look at these beautiful animals' faces. Prisoners in here. Does it bother me? You can't let it bother you if you want to work here. Exactly. Um, so you feel like you put a shield up a little bit. Yeah, like a bit of a defense mechanism your brain does. 
Because if you if you started to get emotional about it and open it up about it and like inside yourself, then you wouldn't be able to well, put yourself. I've seen guys come here, get out of the car, smell the place, and, and like I've seen them throw up. Yeah. Also, a number of people that follow me and watch my videos still eat pigs, still eat animals, and this is what you're eating. You're eating the suffered body of an animal that didn't want to be pushed into these places. These animals are going in against their will, and you're eating their bodies. You're eating that. You're eating all of that. All of that violence, all of that fear, all of that suffering. I couldn't think of anything more horrific to put inside my body than the body of someone who struggled for their last breath. It's like we used to bring kids here. Like, what, for a tour? Yeah. That was a long time ago. Pull up there, 20 school kids in a, in a minute bus. What, they took him through the processing line? Yeah. I can't believe that. That's a good way to turn everyone vegan, actually. The closest it ever come to a pig is in, in a tray in the supermarket. Because it, a lot of kids are not going to go to a pig farm, are they? No. So where are they going to see them? At the slaughterhouse. Exactly. Only, I can't believe that. Yeah. I can't believe that. I think it was to show them like how uh, stuff that's on the supermarket shelf gets there. I bet you they were going home and saying, Mum, I don't want ham in my sandwich anymore. Many people out there have children too, and you're feeding your children this, these suffered bodies of children. These are children in here. They have the same intellect, the same you know, level of awareness, the same intelligence as a child. You're feeding these dead children to your children. Ham sandwiches, bacon sandwiches, sausages. We have vegan options for all of that. You're putting that inside your child's body and they don't know about it. You, the, the children you're feeding these pork chops to do not know what happens in here. Show them, let, let, let them listen to a gas chamber. The most humane method for stunning pigs. In the world, this one here. Let, let, let your children listen to it. All those Christians out there who think God wants this. Let your children see what happens in these places and tell me if they think it's okay. You know, that's an indicator of whether or not this is our natural food or not. Because if we can't show our children how it's produced and it makes them sick, that's just showing us that it's not food. God created your children. God doesn't want this, trust me. This is a hellhole. If you think about it, a baby... Certain processes I wouldn't show them. Yeah, that's interesting though. Because a true natural carnivore yeah, yeah. would see that and not, not blink an eye, they'd get hungry, they'd be like, oh, a suffering animal, human beings. Right. I think it's when it's a baby or a young guy right, and that gets, it seems to affect kids more. But... Yeah. Six month old pigs are still basically <laughs> infants, yeah? Yeah, I mean, they used to be nine months, but... You know, you know about the World Health Organization and stuff, yeah? Right. Bacon causes cancer and... <laughs> well, we get all sorts of reflux. Uh, ah, yeah, they, they've been coming in for a couple of years now. Eh? At least you know about it anyway. Or if, you know, you know more than most people in society. And I think, like, if everyone had your job, a lot of people wouldn't be eating them. That's for sure. I feel sorry for the guys who have to wake up in the morning and stab pigs in the throat. That's for sure. So another thing I want to talk about is that the workers in here don't wake up in the morning and say, hey, I want to go work in a slaughterhouse. They don't grow up as a little child and say, hey, I want to kill animals every day for the rest of my life. But these people that are working in these places are suffering trauma, okay? And the only reason they're working in these horrific conditions is because consumers want to eat animal bodies, okay? So we're subjecting humans to these disgusting working conditions, subjecting innocent childlike animals to horrific horror stories like a gas chamber, all because you want a fleeting taste in your mouth that we can get from plant-based sources. Now think about that. Think about what we're subjecting humans and non-humans to just for a burger, just for a sandwich that we can get vegan alternatives for. Yeah, and they drop them into the gas, yeah? They lower them in the cages, yeah. In the, in the cages, yeah. <laughs> Is this a gondola? Yeah. So it's, a, it's like a roller coaster with yeah. how many cages? 15 or 10? How many? How many? How many? How many um, pigs in a cage? Well, there's three in a cage, eh? No, it's like six in a cage. Oh, six in a cage and how many cages? Eight on that one. Okay. Apparently they call it the Ferris wheel of death.
That'd be scary, eh? Not scary. That'd be scary. We have done all the gas tests and everything, but there's still some down there. And when I went down there, it was still there. Yeah. We're literally doing that. The gas is slowly coming. You have to get out quick, get on your side, pump, pump it out, get it out. Oh. It'd be a horrific way to die, <laughs> eh? To drown in gas, like in a dark. You don't squeal. Though. I mean, I've seen them. With, uh, I've seen them with this. We, we've got footage. Days. We've got footage of pigs screaming and. Tr do you know um, the gas chambers in Melbourne, Diamond right. Diamond Valley Pork? A guy used to work cl uh, uh, cleaning out the bottom of the gas chambers. He found about 50 hoofs. So hoofs that they, the pigs had ripped off of their own limbs, trying to escape the cages. This screaming and suffering and. Yeah. Yeah. Really? They, 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 enough gas. In, uh, sorry. You know, if it isn't the right level of gas, if they they're getting air and gas. And then they, so they're not, they're not always tuning the gas correctly, and they, they're burning and suffering. And yeah, yeah. so I guess this is just a plea to people who are still eating these animals, and to vegans who aren't active yet. This is what's going on every single day, every second of every hour of every day. Okay. And if you're not active and you're vegan, you're allowing this to happen. Okay. These animals are being condemned to slaughterhouses because people aren't awake yet. They're unconsciously purchasing these products. And if you're vegan and you're not speaking out against it, you're complicit in this. You have a level of complicity because you know this happens, okay? You know this happens and you're not doing anything about it. Okay, that's why we need to all be active as vegans. The vegans that we have on earth right now need to be active to speak up against this because a majority of people, they don't know about this. And if they knew about this, they would think twice about it. Trust me, especially the horror that goes on in, in these gas chambers, especially this. Okay, the power is in our hands. Okay, we need to be the voice for them. Okay, and end these industries. We need to end it this year. All of us together this year, 2018. Okay, let's do it. I'll talk to you a bit after, bro. Thanks, mate. Truck coming here. Uh, so if you guys can see, pretty scared little five or six month old pigs in here. They look like puppy dogs or something, hey? Uh, so they kill about 2,800 here a day, about 14,000 a week. And this makes any human genocide look about this big. We're talking billions a week, billions of animals a week. Eight trillions a year, sea animals ripped out of the ocean, pigs pushed in gas chambers, chickens hung upside down and dragged through electrical baths and had their throats slit open. You tell me this isn't a holocaust, you tell me this isn't a massacre. Yeah, so that last truck was really hard and I just kept looking at their, their little bodies and I just thought to myself that that's the reason why they're in the back of those trucks because human beings want to rip the flesh off of their bodies, their flesh. And I just looked at their little eyes and how scared they were and I just thought, why are they doing this to them? You know, why are we doing this to them? Hello. Hello, sweetie. I oh know, sweetie, I oh know. You're scared, darling. They're so beautiful. Nothing has given me fuel to do what I do more than suffering with the animals. It's a, a very hard thing to do, and it really gives you perspective. It gives you perspective, and the animal's perspective. And we can never know what they're going through, truly, because we are not them. But we can have a level of understanding that will help us be ambassadors for them. Hey, hello. Hello, darling. I'm really sorry about this. Uh, and, and so do the local people, they're they just kind of used to it. Yeah, the local people are probably used to it. Well, we'll get it on. Yeah, on right, so, so it's sort of the norm, normal local. Yeah. yeah. Sound a bit weird. Mm -hmm. so. Has it deterred you from eating pigs at all? 
Has it made you think about eating pigs? I don't eat bacon, I don't know. You don't eat pigs at all? No. Is that because of... Is that because of no, hearing no, those no. sounds? Meat, meat lover anyway. Yeah. Okay, well... Wow. Um, it did, did it the right way. Uh, so if you killed them in the right way? Yeah. What is the right way? Well, it's not the right way. It's uh, not, not doing that. Gassing but what, what is the right way in your opinion? But there's no right way, is there really? Yeah. <coughs> there's no right way to take someone's life from them if they want to live? Well, it's, uh, that's up to you. That's it. I don't, I don't really know. Well, we, we look at it from the victim's point of view, from the animal's point of view. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can so, understand. Yeah. But yeah. I just don't get that's one thing. You don't get right into it like that? No, I don't. Yeah. Don't bother yeah. Is it easier for you just to sort of block it out of your mind and pretend that it doesn't exist? Yeah, that's yeah. just quite hard, isn't it? We realise that by us paying for the, the animal products, we're, we're condemning them to death, you know. That's a, that's a 22 day vegan challenge. Is it? Yeah, they, they mentor you on Facebook, they give you heaps of good tips, and yeah. it's all free. I don't think there's anything more powerful than showing either slaughterhouse footage or an animal about to be slaughtered, okay? Saying, hey, these are the victims of your dinner plate. This is what they look like. Hey, vegans, these are the animals you're supposed to be speaking up for, okay? They're getting driven into this slaughterhouse day after day, second after second, they're getting slaughtered, okay? Nothing's more powerful to get people active, to give you that fuel, that fire, to stop people from eating them and the things that come out of them, the save movement. It's changing the world. Yeah, this is annoying when you hear it. Well, like well, it's just say. upsetting, isn't it? Can you imagine what they go through? Do you, if you can imagine, uh, you know, what it'd be like then, if, if that was you, you would want someone to come and help, yeah? Like, if there were dogs in there, we'd, people would want us to save them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're no different in the way they want to live. And, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I can understand what you're yeah. going to do. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Thanks, man. I agree with you. Appreciate that, brother, eh?